While the holidays we know can be joyful for many of us, it can be trying time for many others. According to the CDC, the most dangerous time of the year for drug and alcohol related deaths are December, January and March. Well, joining me now is Angie Neely with Community Reinforcement and Family Training. Thank you so much for being with us today, Angie. We certainly appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Let's talk a little bit about um, what you do. You work with Community Reinforcement and Family Training. So if you would, tell us a little bit about this free resource for people. Right, CRAFT, or Community Reinforcement and Family Training, focuses on supporting family and friends of someone who's struggling with addiction or who's in recovery. Um, it helps provide them with support and ways to set boundaries and improve their own quality of life while teaching them new ways to positively communicate with and support their loved one in a healthier way. This is, this is so important, such a uh, such an important topic. The holidays we know can be a hard time for so many people, especially when family members and loved ones are trying to support people that are in recovery and they might not really know what to do or, or how to do that. What does that look like? What type of tips can you give to family members that really want to be helpful, but they don't know how? Um, remember that they're a family member first and that you love and care about them. So ask them how they're feeling, listen to them, make sure that they know that you're there to, to support them and that you love them. Um, try to refrain from judgment, remove judgment from the picture, um, invite them to holiday activities. If you're concerned about other people drinking around them, you know, ask them what is what they're comfortable with. Um, if they are trying not to drink, then make sure there are other options available um, that are non-alcoholic. And it's really important for family members and friends to set boundaries around what you will and will not support in terms of their behavior and to stick to it. Ensure that you're doing what's best for yourself along with the people you care about. Yeah, so it's twofold here, right, Angie? And not only are you trying to take care of your loved one that is um, going through recovery and trying to stay on course, but you're also trying to take care of yourself in all of this. Right. Part of what we teach is to resume taking care of yourself. You know, the old saying about you've got to put on your own oxygen mask <laughs> yes. before you can help someone else do the same. It's truly that way. The best thing that you can do for your loved one is to take good care of yourself first. Well, Angie, thank you so much for this. So, so important and, and so important to talk about, especially as we move through the holidays here and really anytime. Angie Neely, thank you for spending some time with us today. We appreciate it. We have much more information for help with recovery on our website, cbscolorado.com.